The World Bank Risk and Opportunity Managing Risk for Development Online Course Final Project by Michal Žižlavský I come from the Czech Republic and as a landlocked country located in the center of Europe, we are lucky to be out of the range of most major natural disasters. Earthquakes, tsunamis, tornadoes, volcanoes, they all avoid our country by hundreds of kilometers. The only exception are floods which have hit my country pretty hard in the last two decades. 40 years of communism left some very unfortunate impact on the natural character of the countryside. The chase for increase in production, for no matter what price, undermined the natural retention capacities of the terrain and left the country unprotected and vulnerable towards increased inflow of water typical for the spring season. The great floods in 1997, 2002, 2006 2009 and 2010 were the most severe, killed 96 people, caused damage of hundreds of million dollars, and most importantly, deprived hundreds of families from a roof over their heads. The small town of Tropki, located in the eastern part of the country and counting about 2,000 inhabitants, became the sad symbol of the first and the most fatal floods in the history of the newly created post-communistic republic. The floods in 1997 completely destroyed over 150 houses and caused death of 9 people. The destructive impact of the floods brought up a lot of discussions about crisis management and most importantly about the particular preventive and protective measures that needed to be undertaken in order to protect the town from the same repeating in the future. When water hit the town again in 2010, it found it much better prepared to cope with the consequences of the disaster. A special flood emergency team was coordinating the rescue operations directly in the field. The integrated information system comprising of special emergency phone line, local television and radio well informed local citizens on the current development and the evacuation centers were well prepared for the inflow of those that were forced to leave their homes. Last but not least, NGOs and humanitarian organizations were present to distribute disinfection, food and humanitarian aid where it was needed. The damage on the houses was significant, yet much lower than 13 years ago and no human casualties were recorded during the floods. The disaster still pointed out lacking sufficient preventive measures that would help to stop the big water from even reaching the borders of the town. Nevertheless, the crisis management measures help to mitigate the destructive power of the floods and most importantly avoided the losses on human lives.